Have I been muted all this time? I apologise for that. But look, Tottenham have announced the signing of Brian Gill. Uh, he is now a Spurs player. It's happened in the last minute or so. We knew this was coming. Sergio Reglan tweeted out about five minutes ago that um, that Tottenham, or he tweeted out, announced it's Spurs official with a Spain emoji. Spurs quote tweeted that with a dose of gundos. And there it is again. Uh, some lovely play from Spurs with announcing this signing. Uh, but Brian Gill is officially a Spurs player. And I apologise for the uh, the audio uh, issues there at the start of the stream. But Tottenham confirmed signing of Brian Gill from Sevilla just changing the title on this one uh, I'll keep an eye as well on the Twitter of Sevilla as we expect them to um, announce the signing of Eric Lamella if they haven't already but this one is official uh, again we heard yesterday that this deal was going to be uh, announced today and there it is Sevilla have now announced the, fish, the uh, signing of Eric Lamella they say welcome Eric Lamella the winger joins from Tottenham Hotspur uh, we do have some graphics there in the Spurs Twitter um, which I'll, I'll try and get up in a second but we're going to wait for the, the official article the official announcement on that one that he is uh, a Tottenham Hotspur player. But quickly take a look um, at what Sevilla have said on their side of this deal, completing the signing of Eric Lamella. They've said Sevilla FC have come to an agreement for the signing of the Argentine winger Eric Lamella. The player signs for three seasons and joins from Tottenham Hotspur, where he spent the previous eight campaigns. Lamella has also played 25 games for Argentina, scoring three goals. He will wear the number 17. Uh, They've given us a, a bit of a background on... Uh, on, on Eric Lamella's career and just talking about what he said uh, his time at the Premier League uh, these stats coupled with his young age and only 21 caught the eye of the Premier League in the summer of 2013 he joined Andrew Villas-Boas as Tottenham Hotspur his debut came in the London Derby against Arsenal and days later he played uh, his first European match against Tromso in the Europa League his first campaign in England was cut short with a back injury that caused him to miss the second half of the season he would show his worth in the following season playing uh, 46 games and scoring 5 goals the next season, he would post 11 goals in 16-17 was a tough season as he suffered with a hip injury throughout, although he did manage to make his Champions League debut against Monaco, providing an assist. Another uh, paragraph there in his time at uh, Spurs talking about the Rabona against Astro Tripoli and the Rabona as well against uh, Arsenal a little bit more recently in the Premier League. But that's, you know, uh, farewell to Lamella. Uh, he was a, a different type of player, a different quite a quality player that Spurs had in, in terms of kind of lacking the footballing ability but really giving it uh, in every other aspect of his game. But what we do care about is the announcement of Brian Gill. And there's, we know Brian Gill is at the Olympics, so we're not going to see anything with regards to him being in a Spurs jersey. There's a bit of a photoshopped one in the uh, in the announcement from uh, from Spurs, but the majority of it is just his jersey. Uh, Gill, if we have a look again and see if there's any insight into what number he's going to be wearing, uh, we can't quite see it there. So no number yet for Brian Gill, but he is a Spurs player. Bobby, um, if you want to hop on and have a bit of a chat about this one, uh, please feel free. Uh, there's, I I do I do agree that the the kind of the gloss and the the kind of fanciness of getting these deals over the line are a bit understated, and they're, they're not as much when you're getting these rumors for so long and trying to get these deals over the line. And it's kind of added to that with Brian Gill in the fact that we're we're not going to see him in a Spurs jersey until after the Olympics, and we're not going to get a, a proper full announcement until that does happen. But we do have. Uh, what we were expecting today, again, uh, Spurs have confirmed this one. Again, thanking agent uh, Sergio Regulon uh, for getting this one done. And it's a positive move for, for Spurs. It's one that I really, really think is going to be uh, a huge one for us in the uh, in the coming months, years. And he, he's a player for the future. It, he very much is. There is going to be an aspect of him being a brilliant player for us to have in the short term. But long term, this is a player that has so much potential and is one of the most exciting players in Spanish football. And we do now have the full article from Spurs on the announcement of the signing. Uh, we are delighted to announce the signing of Brian Gill from Sevilla with Eric Lamella joining the Spanish club as part of the deal. The exciting young winger, 20, joins us on a contract until 2026. Brought up in Barbate in Andalusia, Brian moved from his hometown club to Sevilla in 2012. He progressed through the ranks to make his first team debut in January 2019 and made another 12 appearances off the bench in La Liga and the Copa del Rey that season, uh, scoring his first senior goal in a 5-0 will against Rayo Vallecano in April. Brian made his European football bow as Sevilla won the Europa League in 2019-20. He featured four times in the competition and scored against Carabag before joining Leganes on loan for the rest of the season, scoring in a 2-2 draw against Real Madrid in July 2020. Brian made his European football bow as Sevilla won the Europa League in 2019-20. He featured four times in the competition and scored against Carabag before joining Leganes on loan for the rest of the season. Or I've just read that one, sorry. He spent last season on loan at Ibar where he made 29 appearances, including 26 starts in La Liga, scoring four goals. He already has 62 appearances in La Liga, Copa del Rey and Europe under his belt, plus another 23 for Sevilla B in Segunda Division B. 
Capped from under-16 to under-23 youth levels by Spain, Brian was part of the squad that won the UEFA uh, Under-19 Championship in 2019, starting the semi-final and final, and reached the semi-finals of the UEFA Under-21 Championship this summer. He earned the first of three senior international caps against Greece in March. Subject to international clearance, Brian will join up with the club at the conclusion of the Olympics in Tokyo, where he is representing Spain. And a quick nod there to Eric Lamella as well. Uh, going the other way to Spain, Eric joined us from AS Roma in August 2013. Over the next eight seasons, the all-action attacking midfielder made 257 appearances in all competitions, helping us reach three cup finals and finish second and third twice in the Premier League. Now 29, Eric took his tally of caps for Argentina to 25 during his time here. A club man through and through, we wish Lamella all, or we, we wish Eric all the best for the future. And a nice touch there from Spurs. Um, wishing him the best uh, at the end of his career at Spurs. And 257 appearances is certainly um, a lot more than, than I had thought Lamella had made for the club. But he is, he's not a hes not a club legend. I know there's been a lot of debate over that, about whether he does fit into that category. For me, you have to do a lot more uh, to, to be a club legend. But what he is, is a player who offers something very different to Tottenham and something that we've been looking for and something that we wanted uh, at Spurs that we haven't really had in the last couple of years. And it's a player who will always be fighting for every single ball. He'll fight for every, if he put 50, uh, 100% into every 50-50 challenge. He was one that loved the club as much as us. And I know HG from the Chiefs room tweeted out yesterday, Eric Lamella played for Tottenham as though he were a fan. And with the 92 people that are in the chat now with myself and every YouTuber out there, he played for Spurs the way that we would in fighting for the badge and having an absolute uh, adoration for the football club. And he had to be convinced to get this one done as well. Um... I was going to change the headline here at the bottom quickly. Tottenham have officially confirmed the signing of winger Brian Gill. Um, Eric Lamella, he he just fought for everything. He really did. He had to be confirmed. He had to be uh, convinced to go join Sevilla. He knew he wasn't going to be in Nuno Espirito Santos' plans. He knew he wasn't going to be right up uh, at, the, at the top of the list of players that we want in our first team. But he was willing to stay and he was willing to fight for that. And he wanted Spurs more than um, more than anything else. And it is upsetting to see him go, for me anyway. I know a lot of fans are really excited to see him go. But uh, as Caleb says there, at least he fought for the badge. Uh, Mark says, welcome Brian Gill. Jack says, welcome Brian Gill. Um, a very good signing for us today. But Lamella, someone who we will miss at the football club, I think, um, to to some extent. Uh, Marcelo, good friend of the channel, tweet, 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 uh, tweeting, gracias para chudo, Eric Lamella. Um, he's moving on to Sevilla. And I wish him the very best of luck there, as I'm sure... Uh, a lot of Spurs fans do, but I just wanted to hop on today to bring you the breaking news. Uh, we will hopefully be streaming a little bit later today. I'm getting my vaccine this afternoon, uh, so if I'm feeling well, uh, hopefully I will be. Uh, we will be streaming a little bit later today as well, uh, with updates on Christian Romero and a number of other transfers too. But just to bring you that breaking news, officially confirmed today, Tottenham have signed Brian Gill, Eric Lamella has moved on to Sevilla, and that's two signings done in what is going to be a very, very busy week for Spurs. As always, thanks for watching.